She's a beauty, isn't she? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you be, you're having a good day. I know I am today. We're going to be talking about the habitats 3.9 that's just come out, just been released, as there's been major changes. No longer will you have multiple habitats in a system where you can build them over individual uh, planets and have multiple different planets you needed to colonize in effect. And sometimes AI had eight, 10 habitats in the system and turn them into fortress habitats and be very difficult to take. So now with the 3.9 update, we've got one central habitat that you can build. I've built mine here next to the sun. Might be a little bit hard to see. And this is what it looks like at the moment. Now this is with quite a lot of expansions. To build this main habitat costs 200 influence and 1500 alloys. And I think I've got some other ones built as well, a little bit smaller ones, which is a couple of upgrades. What I can do is, where's my upgrades? I've got one there. So let's just go ahead and delete these so we can see what they're like when they're brand spanking new. So I think that's it. There's no others in the system. It's just the habitat. So that's what you start off with. Start off with, well, without those buildings, just a capital building. So you start off with uh, six districts in total. And that's what I've got building around the sun because I think there was an energy district. So you start with a reactor district. And with this one, the main one is a mineral, alloys, and city district. If you want a research district, you have to build it above a research world and you'll be able to get access to those resources. And as you expand, you can go and, for example, let's go and, I'm, I'm building one there, aren't I? Let's just stop that. Let's just say we go here, and we'll build a major extension to the habitat. You go to mega structures, it's a major orbital. So it costs 200 and 720 days, 200 alloys, 720 days. That's not too bad. So, and, You can get quite a few, oh, it's built already. That's why I instant build on. And I noticed too, you don't actually have to travel to the uh, actual planet to start building. I'm, I'm not sure if that's a bug or not, but yeah, you can just click on the construction ship and like I'll show you here, right? This construction ship there, I'll click on there, build mega structure, right? And it will just start building, bang, done. I've got instant build on, but it would take 720 days normally, but it would start construction from that distance. Okay, each of these expansions that you build will add a part of that district, which is if you look here, you can see here, I did have six of these before, but now I've got seven. So this planet currently has seven districts. So the planet size is six, planet capacity 24. And if we go ahead, so we've got seven there now. Let's go ahead and build a few more. Let's just say we build one here. Let's see if we get another district yet. Not yet, because I think it's a, either half a district or quarter of a district. Let's build one there, a minor one. What does that say? It adds, adds up to three districts. Yeah, half a building slot. And it also adds modifiers as well, depending on the resource you've got. So let's have a look now. Yeah, so now we've gone up to eight districts. You get more, each time you build a uh, habitat, it goes up by, I believe it's a quarter for the actual districts and up to a half for the building slots. So, and obviously as you build city districts, you'll expand your building slots as well. So let's go ahead and just uh, fill out the rest of this system and see what it would look like. And you can even build uh, habitats above uh, habited worlds, but just keep in mind that if you build a mega structure here, in a major orbital, you won't be able to build the orbital ring afterwards. You can only build one at a time. So, and when you build it, say on a planet that has, or a uh, object that has, a science station or mining station it will actually replace that so we will use that resource so we just built it on a science 
planet. Let's just check if we actually got a any more science resources. Well, we've got access to science. So now we can build research. And we can see there we've got another building district as well. Miner. And you can also build them around stars. Uh, we've already built the main habitat around that one, but we can build one here. You can build a major. So you can build a major around major orbital bodies, planets, stars. Uh, you can build minor ones uh, around uh, moons and even asteroids. Uh, we've got here, build one there, minor one there. Build a major one here. So you can see if you've got multiple construction ships, it makes the job a lot easier. There's another star, you can build another major one there. Any other structures we've got left? Yeah, we can build one around here too as well. But I might want to put an order ring around there in the future, so that's the only problem. So I think we've covered everything in this system. So let's go back and have a look now. What does the habitat look like? Okay, so you can see we've added a number of districts. You were at eight, and now we've added three more. So we've added as much as we can here. We've only got three of the mining trade and research who didn't actually have that many resources in this system. The other thing you can do is once you've, uh, let's, let's just go ahead and uh, build all this up. Just... Once you've built your habitat up, you've used all the existing districts, you can then go to, if you've got the technology, upgrade, upgrade and expand the habitable complex. So this will add 10% habitability, so it'll increase the habitability, which I think it starts at a base of 45% for your standard species without any uh, extra technology. So you get extra 10%. Uh, max district slots from major orbitables, plus 0.25. Building slots from housing orbitables, plus 0.25. And max corporate buildings, plus one. So once we do this, we should see some expanded uh, districts that we can use. Let's see, let's see the effect. Okay, so you can see events popping up. You can see there we've gained some uh, housing, another six housing districts to use. So that's just expanded our habitat a great deal. So let's go ahead and expand that. So now we're up to 17, 17, well 18 actually. We've got one mining district, 18 districts. That's equivalent to a size 18 planet now. You can effectively hold 99 pops at this stage. Now let's go in here and see. So now we can upgrade to advanced habitat. And that gives us another 10% habitability. You can see the habitability increased. You can do another 0.25 for uh, major audibles and building slots from housing audibles, 0.25 and max corporate buildings, plus one. Now the housing orbitals, I believe, are the planets that you don't have any resources on. It just, it's basically just gonna add um, city, uh, city, city districts available. So let's try this again, see what it goes up to. Uh, requires habitat, oh, I need more pops here, okay. Let's transfer some pops to this planet. 26, so I can upgrade the capital now. All right, so we need some jobs for these people. Let's go ahead and add some jobs. Um, I'm just gonna make this a commercial. Because I do wanna have a look at the trade as well, now that the trade has been changed a little bit. Let's see how that goes. So we haven't got as many jobs, but let's bump that up. Oh, that's because oh, I haven't got the um, clerk jobs open. That's a bit of a, a bit of a bugger. There we go. So there's another thing you can do. If you hold down shift, you can close them all, open them all. Control, close 10 or uh, five at a time, sorry. Plus and minus if you didn't know. Shift and plus for those. Okay, so we've got all our jobs going. What is our trade? Trades going up. We've only got 26 pop here. We've got our capital upgraded. So now we can go ahead and upgrade our habitat to advanced habitat. Okay, so we've gained another four districts. So up to size 21. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's just have a look at what we've got. So we've got 21 districts. We can hold another 
104 available jobs, 101 available population. And I've already got 26, so that's 127 pops on this habitat system here. So that's pretty good. And for me, because I'm an aquatic species in this, you can also go ahead and uh, flood the habitat. You can change that to an aquatic. See, what's my population? That's oh, I, not mostly human at the moment, but it's, I am growing mostly my main species. It flood the habitat. There we go, habitat flooded. So habitat really went up a bit and flooded the habitat, which is good because I am also hydrocentric in this build. And what we could do as well, now that we've got our habitats up to that level, so size uh, 21, is it 21? No, 22, I should say, because we've got that district there. What I'm, I'm gonna delete that, this is just annoying me. Let's just make that so I can uh, keep track of the size of the districts. Yeah, so size 20, that's equivalent to a size 22 planet that you've built in this system. So and I've got uh, one, two, I'm terraforming a couple of other planets here. That could be four planets and then a massive habitat as well. So that could be a really powerful system uh, when it comes to it. Like you think, I've got the habitats, which you could, you could also turn to a bit of a fortress system. You could make orbital rings around all of these uh, planets as well, which would reduce the habitat size. But if you want to make a bit of a defensive system, you could, but I don't really see the need for it at this point. Now, what we can do as well, we've got ascension perks we can use. So we can go into here and we can go down to void born, which is here. So void born is minus 20% habitat cost. So I probably should have picked that before I started building. Uh, building slots from non-urban habitat districts plus 0.25 so that's non-urban so you're not not from your city districts from your other districts so habitat max districts plus two and jobs from habitat districts plus one can construct advanced housing buildings on habitat so you can build some of the more advanced buildings in the game with this perk let's pick that and let's see how that's affected our habitat the game update so there we go. So we've got three more districts available to build. So one, two, three. So now we're up to a size 25 planet and we've got 135 jobs available and 26 pop already used and we've got all the jobs used currently. So that's, uh, what's that, 161 populations now. So picking Voidborn uh, increase that by about, what was that, about 50 odd population. So that was a pretty good ascension perk. Now, just imagine, because you need 200 influence to do your main station, the rest is just alloys. And as you can see, like in this game, I'm, I'm producing plenty of alloys. I could produce more if I needed to. I did cheat and max the resources out here, but my monthly gain is still all right. And I can easily increase that more. In this game, I was building a habitat here, 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 and I'm planning to build more because I did have quite high influence already. Now let's have a look in this system. So in Rome, so I've got 15 already districts available and I've got more mining, I've got more energy, not as much research, and quite a lot of alloys available there. And that's because I just had uh, more resources in this system available to build upon, which increased the numbers of districts I had available here, the astro mining and the energy. And that's just because that's my home, home starting system. So the amount of uh, districts you build on, which with that resource, with energy research, um, mining, it'll affect in the number of districts that you can get from uh, your habitats. It goes up, I believe, uh, 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 0.25 as well. So, and if we build this out, let's just have a look, because this is a bigger system. Let's just build this out for interest. Okay, so that's built out. I'm probably gonna need some extra pops here as well. Uh, let's uh, upgrade habitat. See the effects of this. So that gave us another three. 
so we're up to size 19 already now we're going to need some population so let's uh upgrade our capital let's build some jobs because so we don't get mass uh, unemployment and have a revolution lose my planet while I'm demonstrating <laughs> all right so we've got lots of jobs there now let's upgrade to advanced habitat we go up to 22 so we've got 22 districts on this one now probably the reason for that the difference between the two habitats is you can look in this system I've got more mining asteroids you can see here and I can actually build another one there let's just do that build a miner I've missed one there we go minor orbital see how that affected it oh, I didn't get anything extra at this stage uh, let's flood that habitat have a build it a little bit better it does affect the housing a little bit too so this is a size 22 now this one over here is a size 25 now if you want to know the reason for that that's because of the I've got more major orbitals around the major uh, star bodies this other system here actually has more minor orbitals because I've got the asteroid belts so you can see I've got habitats above the asteroids and that's why it's got two asteroid belts so you can remember you can build on all of them and it's got it's got um, less actual major planets than what the other systems got and just remember if you're building around uh, habitable planets you can't build an orbital ring if you've got this so let's just I'll just show you so I've got an orbital ring already here, so now I can't build a major orbitable. So it says they cannot build due to existing megastructure. So you can't do that. Okay. So this system now, I've got two um, home worlds because they've got that Rome Beta event where you get extra home world appear. So lucky me. So this is my um, home world here at the moment. Still pretty early in the game. It's only a size, what's well, size 19 at the moment, but it will get bigger. But I'll turn that into Econopolis at some point, and that's going to hold about 200, 250 pops by some stage in the game. And then this one will hold about the same. And then you've got your habitat, which at this stage, I've got 32 pops and I've got 118 jobs. So that's uh, that's what that's exactly 150 pops that I can hold on this. So I'm about, uh, well, three fifths of, a, of an Econopolis, roughly, the amount of pops I could hold. So that's pretty pretty powerful and I'm only I've only got city districts here you can have whatever districts you want now imagine that applied across all of these systems all the systems that you want you can just keep building it out building it out view population and keep growing and growing and growing so you can now see how a smaller build could become very very powerful because obviously you need a lot of alloys it does take a lot of influence 200 influence each system which um, well, means you're not you can't spend influence on other things like Econopolises and um, expanding your borders and getting systems so just keep that in mind but you can see how that would become a very very powerful and you can easily build this out to cover quite a few systems so that you don't have to worry uh, about getting planets in this, this game I've got quite a few planets as you can see so far I am terraforming a bunch more the planets is not really a problem, but I'm still building the um, habitats because I want to experiment with them and I wanted to show them off. So I can see one of the best ways to do habitats is to start off with a, a normal sort of race, get a good start for the first 50 years, then transition into habitats after that because you can't uh, research habitats until after 50 years. And if you've got the, um, I think it's a star hold, uh, or star fortresses technology and you've built three star fortresses that will give you a higher chance for rolling 
rolling um, habitat tech. So where is it? Uh, it's probably a fair way down, to be honest. I did it quite early. Uh, so there's the two advanced and uh, habitat expansion. Citadels. Auto ring. There you go, orbital habitats. You've got, see, I've got orbital habitats relatively early. So you, you need, if you've got star fortresses and you've built three star fortresses, it increases your roll chance of having this. Plus if you're a technocracy um, as well, check out the um, tech tree in the wiki to find out exactly, but normally you can get it after 50 years pretty quickly if you if you're doing well on the engineering uh, tech and you're not neglecting your have uh, your um star based technologies because this directly impacts your role chance of this so if you're looking for it now the one other thing with uh, habitats now with your main species i was just playing a clone army build with a bit of a trade build because i didn't want to be limited um with playing just a void born build um, which the uh, Voidborn Origin, which we can see a uh, Void Dwellers here. Now, the reason for that is because I wanted to have planets and not be limited with not having planets. So I wanted the best of both worlds. I wanted to have my planets and my habitats. So I decided to go a planet species first and then rotate into habitats as I could once I've got the technology. And fortunately, my economy is going quite well. So we've got a uh, the Void Dwellers here, you start with the Orbital Habitat, the Void Dwellers, uh, Habitat Preference, uh, you start with the Technology for Orbital Habitats, you've got a Guaranteed Research for Habitat Expansion, so that's a research option, and Guaranteed Habitat Worlds, which is resource rich systems instead of colonizable planets. So you can construct advanced housing buildings and habitats. Um, so you've got a couple of resource rich systems, which basically means that you've got a lot of planets and bodies to build major habit habitats on and minor habitats on and get more resources and research buildings instead of having colonizable wo worlds so that you um, don't suffer too much of a disadvantage. But you still have to spend quite a lot of alloys to get it going and also influence early, which can slow your expansion elsewhere. So just keep that in mind, depending on what type of build that you want to play. So it does, uh, this Avoid uh, Dwellers is uh, a little bit better than the um, Ascension perk because the Ascension perk gives minus 20% habitat build cost. This gives minus 25%. So, and max ha uh, ha habitat max districts is the same too. Jobs plus one is the same. Uh, from non-urban habitats, that's the same, 0.25 districts, so that's the same. So it's just a habitat cost is minus 20% instead of 25%. So that's the only difference between picking the origin and the ascension perk. So for me, I, go, I prefer to go for a, uh, a species build and uh, that can go on planets and then transition to habitats. The only thing is, is I'm starting the habitats you know, 50, 60 years later, I guess. But what that does is with a species like this, clone army, is particularly strong in the first 30 years of the game. I can get a really strong economy going, expand my borders where I want to, hold off the AI hopefully or other human opponents, and then transition into building habitats uh, within my space. And if you want to stay small and efficient and build a tall build, this would be really, really good for that because you can keep your uh, empire size down so that your technology costs don't increase tradition costs don't increase you can really ramp through your techs your traditions get your three planets and if you've only got a small area like uh, say seven to ten systems that's fine that's still seven to ten habitats you can build and you've just seen that building them out uh, i had you know between uh 100 and uh 150 plus pops on both of those two systems. On two systems, I could put 300 pops on two habitats once they're, once they're filled out. Um, the other thing to do as well, the starting system uh, that you can do with, um, where is it, name and class. I picked the soul system because I looked at that and that's got about 17 bodies that you can put. 
uh, habitats on compared to some of the other starts. So that was that was good, and that's what I showed you. So that's pretty uh, useful, having more bodies to build your habitats, your major and minor habitat stations on. Now, I'll just quickly go back into this game. Just keep in mind that these um, stations can actually, actually I've got a mining station there. What am I doing? Let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's just double check this. Build a mega structure. Oh, I've got century array. Uh, where's my habitat? There we go, major orbital. You might, I might have uh, missed a couple here actually. Oh, let's turn on instant build because I've reloaded the game. There we go. Okay, so that got rid of that. Let me just check if there's any other stations around. You can just see if there's any, oh, there's a science station there. So I've got another miner I can build there. That's how you can check if you haven't built a habitat. So there is a little bit of micro you need to, with building the habitats when you've got quite a lot of stations around, quite a lot of planetary bodies. But it's easy to see if the symbol at least you can see if you've got any mining stations or any science stations left. I'm just having a look. No, I think that is it. So let's see how that affects our habitat. It gave us a little bit. It gave us another district. So 23. Thank you. So, so it gave me another, what's that, another five pops I can build up to. So that's pretty good. And just having a look at this trade build. So you can still see here that you can get up to What's that, 36 traders, and they're currently giving me 13.5 trade value. 1.6 amenities, you can see my amenities is fine, and you can see I still get 109 clerks. Now, you see that trade value plus 1% there, that means that each one of those will give me plus 1% trade. So you can see once you get up to 109, once you max this out, you're getting 109% trade, max that out. Uh, unfortunately, you don't get too many merchant jobs at the moment. Uh, I have got some holdings here from a Megacorp. Some of these give you merchant jobs. Like that one gives you a merchant job. Gives you clerk jobs. Clerk jobs. So there'll be some more jobs come from there. A bit more trade. You can see there that this will really go up once I fill this out. It will become a very nice um, trade habitat if, the, if, if that's what you wanted. So we can make it... Um, uh, you know, if you want to make an industrial habitat, or if you want to make it, uh, whatever you need. You, uh, I've got enough here. I could add nine mining district, nine energy. And the good thing about the habitats is you could take it from here, take um, yeah, the, uh, mining resources from your planets and and whatever yeah, these districts, and then you could just focus on building research um, or alloys. You're basically taking your industry and stuff from the planet, put it in space, and leave your planet as the uh, research capitals or the trade capitals and you know if you want a bit of role play along that sort of thing so that's another way you can look at it just want to have a look at that ascension perk again void born yeah it's exactly the same except the minus 20 percent build cost so that's um pretty good i've got hydrocentric there too yeah so i think that's about it today so i just wanted to have a look at these habitats and just to explain how it fits in the overall game concept and I will be um, looking at a few builds where I'm going to include habitats as part of my gameplay like like this type of build I want to do a, a clone army build actually and um, play through soonish all right guys that's it uh, for today so thank you for watching and tuning in and hopefully you enjoyed this video and it gave you something new about habitats and how to use them and how to build them uh, if you enjoyed this video hit the like button for me that helps with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time thank you for tuning in bye for now